it's time for my first handy tech under 100 and this time we're gonna get hard and sticky so come along and let's fix your pipe manage your cables and then cool you off at the end The Aria headphones from Phoenix come complete with a cardioid clip mic and acoustic chambers constructed entirely of Japanese pine wood. Check it out in the link below. Setting us off with number one is Fiber Fix. It's a resin product that can bond to metal and wood that's available in a patch, a heat wrap, and a repair wrap. That's the one that I bought. It claims that it can harden like steel. Sounds great, I'm in. So to put it to the test, I cut through a table leg support with an angle grinder. Then I followed the Fiber Fix instructions by preparing the surface around the brake by sanding it down with the included sandpaper a little bit and I included some filing just to make it go a bit faster. Then I put on my gloves and dunked the Fiber Fix wrap under water for about five seconds. Now Fiber Fix doesn't adhere the same way traditional tape does. I had to wrap the first few layers carefully, making sure they were at least in the right location. Then with subsequent layers, I cranked it in a little bit to make sure that it was all tight. Following this, I wrapped some of the included vinyl strips on top of that, also cranking those down, and let it sit for about 15 minutes to cure before removing the vinyl. Then it was time to test it. Okay, so it did come off, but that's actually because I deformed the entire pipe against the rock. The problem here wasn't the strength or rigidity of the fiber fix, it was its ability to adhere to the pipe, which I did score quite a bit, although admittedly I didn't get all of the paint off. But the fact of the matter is, I can still pull the remaining still unbroken part out of the end. I would suggest using fiber fix along with some type of super glue or gorilla glue, depending on the project. I'm very happy with its strength, but I'm not a huge fan of its adherence. Watch this real quick. You're not going to see this completely on camera, but there, I can just pull it right out. Yeah. Next up, we have item number two, Sugru. Its creators call it moldable glue, and after taking however much you need out of the package, you can stick it to loads of different things like ceramics, glass, metal, and wood, along with most plastics and even fabrics. You then have 30 minutes to fix, bond, cushion, replace, mold, seal, and stick things together. Then after waiting 24 hours, Sugru will turn into a durable, flexible silicone rubber that in the vast majority of cases will stay stuck permanently unless you decide to remove it. Sugru can stand up to some pretty intense conditions as well. It's temperature resistant up to 180 degrees Celsius or down to negative 50 degrees Celsius. It's dishwasher safe, weatherproof, and even resists the effects of the ever dreaded salt water. It's shock resistant, UV resistant, and it's even electrically insulating below 24 volts, acceptable for small electronics projects. I had John use it for a number of things, including some cable management, cable strengthening, mounting an SSD in a computer case, and more. If you'd like to see a huge range of stuff that Sugru can do, check out their tech, DIY, outdoors, and general tips sections on their site. I was originally going to make a video on channel Superfun about this stuff way back in 2014, but ended up using it all before we got around to it. Uh, it's pretty great. Which brings us to our third and final handy sticky product, Arctic Silver Thermal Adhesive. This stuff is the real deal. I mean, it includes a warning stating that yes, it is a permanent adhesive. Components that you attach with Arctic Silver Thermal Adhesive will stay attached forever. Your seven grams of thermal adhesive is split in 3.5 gram parts across syringe A and syringe B. You will need to mix these parts like an epoxy in equal one to one ratios on some sort of tray that you don't mind throwing away. After mixing, you can use the included mini spatula to apply the solution to your heatsink or chip or whatever you're trying to stick together. Wait for it to cure and voila, permanently adhered thermal transfer with solid performance to boot. It's Arctic silver, right? So it has 62 to 65% silver content by weight. Pretty intense. You can learn more about why this matters here. But why would you want this? 
Well, if you're doing a mod to a graphics card, which will remove the cooling on a few chips, or just working on a smaller electronics project, it can often be useful to be able to add heat sinks in places where there aren't holes to mount them by traditional means. And since thermal stickers perform worse and don't hold very well under any kind of weight load, and drilling through the PCB randomly is obviously a terrible idea, this is better than nothing. Which brings us, finally, to the full disclosure part of these Handy Tech episodes. Linus originally included this section since they're structured more as a recommendation to buy with links below to Amazon versus a review. I personally think this was a wise choice, so without further ado... Item 1, the Fiberfix, was purchased by me to use for work. Taryn suggested we get it when Linus broke the trailer, and while he already found a solution for that, it seemed like a great idea to have some around in the future for just any whatever use case. Item 2, the Sugru, was sent to us by Sugru themselves for use around the office, and we told them, since we already had experience with the product a couple of years ago, that we were pretty sure it would make its way into a video at some point. This is that video. Item 3, the thermal adhesive, was purchased by Linus to put the damn 6700K back together again because it's been apart for a really long time and the tube of thermal adhesive that he had from like six years ago happened to dry out. If you're not a member of Dollar Shave Club and you join today, you will get your first month of razors for free. They will deliver these razors continually, if you stay a subscriber, to your door directly every month. Membership means that you can have a fresh shave anytime you want, and you'll get a first class shave when you use their executive blade, especially when paired with their Dr. Carver's Shave Butter, which goes on clear so you can see actually what hair you're shaving at that point in time, which is pretty helpful. They ship to the US, Canada, and Australia, so head over to dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus and give them a try for free. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you liked my first debut into handy tech. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button, get subscribed, all that fun stuff. If you hated it, dislike. That's, that's fine. Also, if you're interested in any of these things, you can find them at the Amazon links down below. You can check out our shirt store also down below. And uh, check out this video, which is the third handy tech ever to go on YouTube. I'll see you next time.